Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into one of Grey's Anatomy's most beloved yet complicated characters, Christina Yang. While she's known for being a brilliant surgeon and a fierce friend, Christina has had her fair share of questionable moments. In this video, we'll be looking at the eight worst things Christina has ever done, from the decisions that hurt her relationships, Get out. to the moments that left fans shaking their heads. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Grey's Anatomy content, and let's jump in! Starting off at number 8, we have Emma and Owen's relationship. Christina had a whirlwind romance with trauma surgeon Owen Hunt. From season 5 to season 10, the couple had their ups and downs. From Owen's PTSD, <laughs> Teddy's reappearance, and Christina's abortion, the pair didn't have the smoothest of relationships. The final nail in the coffin was when Christina realized Owen still wanted to have children, and she didn't. Owen! You want kids! Kid okay, needed. The fact that you are lying to yourself doesn't make me feel better about you lying to me. Owen began seeing maternal fetal surgeon Emma Marling in season 10. Emma was the complete opposite of Young. She had a warm attitude and wanted to have a family. Their relationship soon got serious when the pair planned to move in together. That was until Owen decided to cheat on her with Christina. Who was fully aware of their relationship. Congratulations! I heard you're moving in with Emma. Um, yeah. It wasn't a nice moment for Christina. At number seven, she nearly killed Alex. Everyone is aware of Christina's love for surgery. Fans know it, and the surgeons at Gray Sloan did too. In this episode, the attendings are on the lookout for the new Gunther. This was a nickname given to a doctor who took charge during the team building exercise. Everyone bet it would be Yang. However, the surgery proved it was Jackson after Christina messed up. You know why she just did what he said, right? Because he's the Gunther. As Teddy expected, Christina began to work too quickly and wasn't careful with the instruments. She ended up stabbing Alex with a syringe full of epinephrine, which caused him to collapse. Ow! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Alex! She ended up being a liability because she didn't take the time to think. And at number six, we have PTSD. Gray Sloan was never the same after the hospital's mass shooting. A grieving widower named Gary Clark, who blames the hospital for his wife's death, enters Seattle Grace Mercy West Hospital armed seeking revenge. Many of the doctors suffered the aftermath of the shooting, including Christina who quit the program. She tries to distract herself with wedding planning and bartending, but eventually comes back to the hospital. The road to recovery was long as she had PTSD. Christina takes it all out on Meredith. You were there with your sad eyes, screaming at me to save his life, she says. You were there too, you know? You were there too, with your sad eyes, screaming at me to save his life. You didn't tell him I gotta shoot you and not give me your crap about yourself or your pregnancy? I didn't have a choice, and you did that. If it was anyone else standing there, I would have walked away. I wouldn't be here. I didn't have a choice, and you did that. If it was anyone else on the table, if it was anyone else standing there, I would have walked away. I would have walked away, and then I would not be here. It's a little harsh of Christina to blame Meredith when her anger should be directed towards Gary Clarks, who was the shooter. At number five, we have Preston's injury. The end of season two saw Christina's boyfriend, Burke, shot. The bullet had been lodged in his shoulder, which caused extensive nerve damage to his hand. Burke was unable to operate as he had a tremor. Christina was the only one who knew about it, so they came up with a plan to hide his condition. We need a strategy. We have to figure out our story and come up with a plan. Christina, you're too intense. Christina was the mastermind behind the plan, scheduling and operating on Burke's surgeries. While supporting Preston, she also got access to rare procedures that began to raise suspicion amongst the other residents. Eventually, the pressure got to Christina, and she confessed all to Richard. Chief, we need to talk. Yes, Dr. Burke. I think we do. She did the right thing in the end, but they shouldn't have put Burke's pride ahead of the patient's welfare. 
Coming off at number four, we have Intern Cabal. Christina made the mistake by not reporting the intern cabal. Dr. Yang told me yesterday to shut it down, but I didn't listen. You knew about this yesterday? Sir. Did I... you know? No. As the residents weren't teaching the interns, they decided to practice the procedures on themselves. This ranged from sutures, epidurals, and attempting to remove an appendix on one of their colleagues called Sadie. I want to see. Get her a mirror. <sighs> Ooh, cool. <laughs> Sadie had an appendix and told Lexi and the interns that they could operate on her. Christina found out when Richard complimented Lexi on her skills and ordered them to stop. Normally, this procedure would be done by a surgeon in a regular OR. Page the chief and go get Bailey. And although she did it with good intentions, Christina should have told Weber before they put Sadie's life at risk. At number three, we have robot moves. Christina was deemed a robot by the other doctors because of her lack of compassion. She would often take pleasure in patients' injuries and express her delight in their presence. She came across as very insensitive. A prime example of this is when Izzy, Meredith, and Christina fight over a case. This involved a male patient believing he was pregnant. It's not hysterical! I am pregnant! Christina and Izzy took photos with the patient and decided to make money off the case, charging other doctors and nurses admission to stand in the room. It was uncomfortable to watch as they completely ignored the patient's wishes. And at number two, she fights Meredith. Christina and Meredith are known to be like two peas in a pod. However, their friendship was strained in season 10 when the pair began to argue over their respective careers. Christina began to excel in surgery whilst Meredith had taken a step back to adjust to motherhood. It was a simple discussion that took a wrong turn as Meredith began to believe Christina thought she was better than her. You were unfocused and you were late. I didn't steal that surgery from you. I rescued that surgery from you. Oh, because I- Because you couldn't do it. Christina did not help matters as she betrayed Meredith. Meredith was using a 3D printer to print a model of a liver for her research. However, Christina ended up destroying the prototype so she could use the machine. What the hell are you doing? It strained her relationship with Meredith further as it affected her research. Finally, at number one, we have false accusation. Before they became the Twisted Sisters, Christina viewed Meredith as her competition. In this episode, fancy Meredith and Christina pair up to work on the Katie Bryce case. Derek then walks in and explains that Katie is having seizures with no visible cause. She is a ticking clock. The intern who finds out the cause will get to scrub in on the advanced surgery. I'm gonna ask interns for help. I've got this kid, Katie Bryce, but she's having seizures, grand mal seizures with no visible cause. She's a ticking clock. She's gonna die if I don't make a diagnosis, which is where you come in. I know you're tired, you're busy, you got more work than you could possibly handle. I understand. So I'm gonna give you an incentive. Whoever finds the answer rides with me. Christina and Meredith confront Derek, telling him, although they have no proof, Katie may have an aneurysm. He goes to check it out and is shocked to discover that they were right. He then picks Meredith to join him in the OR. As soon as he leaves, Christina glares at Meredith and storms away. Oh, yes, right. Um, I'm sorry I can't take you both. It's gonna be a full house. Meredith, I'll see you in OR. Good, thank you. Out of anger, Christina lashes out at Meredith when she comes to apologize. I don't get picked for surgeries because I slept with my boss, and I didn't get into med school because I have a famous mother, she says. Some of us have to earn what we get. I don't get picked for surgeries because I slept with my boss, and I didn't get into med school because I have a famous mother. You know, some of us have to earn what we get. It was unfair on Christina's part to judge, as Meredith was already struggling with her mother's legacy putting pressure on her. Thanks for sticking around, everyone! Christina Yang is definitely one of Grey's Anatomy's most complex and unforgettable characters. And while her brilliance as a surgeon made her a fan favorite, her actions often had serious consequences for those around her. From her struggles with vulnerability to some of her most questionable decisions, it's clear Christina wasn't perfect, but that's part of what made her so real and relatable. If you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into Grey's Anatomy. See you in the next one.